In this tutorial, we will create a poster using the watercolor effect for the base of the image. To get started, we will use this stock photo right here. Remember to play around with the effects, since the output would be different according to each image. Alright, so let's get started. Move over to Filters, choose Adjustments, and then select the Black and White option. Adjust the shades according to the image you are using. Now select the Brightness Contrast option from the Layers panel, and adjust the bars to increase the brightness levels of the image. You can see that I have used the maximum level for brightness, and the minimum level for contrast. Once done, select both the layers and press Ctrl E to merge them. Now duplicate the layer and go to Filter, choose Adjustment, and then select the Threshold option. Adjust the level according to the image you are using, and try to get something like this. Change the layer mode to Multiply and merge both the layers. With that done, let's create a new layer. For the next step, you will need to download and install the Blood and Ink Brush set. You can easily find good ones over at DeviantArt. Now let's fill the canvas with different colors, using different sizes and opacity to create a basic watercolor effect. Leave no spots behind and cover the whole canvas. Once the canvas is filled with different colors, go back to Image Layer and press Ctrl A to select the whole layer. Now press Ctrl C to copy the selection. Now select Watercolor Layer again, and add a Mask Layer from the Layer panel. Press the Alt key, and click on the Mask Layer. With that done, press Ctrl V to paste the selection here. Once done, press Ctrl I to invert the colors. Now make the Watercolor Layer visible, and there you have it, a basic watercolor effect applied on the image. Let's add a white background behind the Watercolor Layer to add to the effect. With that done, let's increase the size of the canvas for the poster. Over here, let's move the image to the bottom of the page, and apply the same brush set for the sky as well. Remember to use different shapes and opacity levels for each stroke, to make the effect look more realistic. You can even use different types of brushes within the set to add to the effect. Now let's insert the text using the type tool. For the font, we have used Gil MT Bold, using different font sizes for the text. Now all that is left is adjusting the placement of the text, using different vibrant colors for the font. At the end, let's place the logo in the upper left corner of the canvas, and the poster is now ready.